Hey lifers, Dustin here, and uh, I am at my friend's restaurant, uh, and I am trying out mobile live streaming. Uh, I haven't been able to make a video for the last few days because my big light in my apartment is down. It broke, and I have to order a new one, so I've had to like buy lamps to try to supplant it. Uh, so instead, I'm trying to see what going live on mobile is like. I haven't ever done that before. Hello, Jab Gaming, Drew Cagle, Bo, what's up, everybody? Uh, I want to go live on Mondays, but I wasn't able to do so because of said lighting. So uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. Hopefully everything looks good. 70 to 33. Yep, that was not one of the uh, one of the better Clemson moments. I'm wearing a Clemson hoodie right now. Hey, Cade, this is so different. Like, I see the comments, and then they just fade away. Um, how's everybody doing? I don't have any... Uh, any college football news? I need a pop socket or something. I don't have any college football news for this uh, weekend because I was I was doing other stuff with lighting and writing videos and stuff. Um, so instead, it's uh, just a quick little live stream to kind of test this out. Probably five or ten minutes because I don't have anything to hold it. I'm just holding it up on my on my arm and it hurts. Talk about the XFL. I'm thinking about making a video about that. Uh, J Rock. I think the XFL is a is a bad idea. I don't think it's it's a thing that people should do. Vince McMahon, I think he's going to lose a lot of money. I think it failed the first time. I think he's going to try to take a, an anti NFL stance, which may work, but um, we'll see. I think it's interesting. He doesn't want any players with any kind of criminal records to be involved in it. I think he kind of eliminates a lot of really good players like Johnny Menzel. But hey, what are you going to do? Uh, so your comments disappear. Oh, no, okay. If I scroll, they come back. Uh, talk about the Super Bowl, Eagles, or Patriots. Um, so the friend, I don't know if I, he wants me to say his name or what his restaurant is, so I'm not going to. But he is a Vikings fan, uh, and he actually was at the NFC Championship. He got me this Fly Eagles Fly towel, which is pretty cool, and a little cup from, uh, from the link. So that was really neat. Um, as far as the actual Super Bowl, um, I have to say the Patriots are going to win because I can't imagine picking Nick Foles over Tom Brady. But I think of all the teams of the last few years that are built to win, I think first off the Patriots are a little less um, unbeatable than they have been in previous years. And I think the Eagles defense is the best defense the Patriots have faced in the last few Super Bowls they've probably been in. So the Eagles certainly have a chance to do it. Let me go back. Oh, that was my hands. What's the best stadium in college football? Um, whoa. I don't know. I don't know if I'm qualified to say that just yet because I haven't been to enough, especially of the big ones. Um, I can tell you the best stadium that I've been to, which the best atmosphere was Florida. The prettiest overall stadium is probably actually, I really thought North Carolina Stadium was really, really pretty, actually. Hey, LSU fan 101. Can everybody hear me okay? I'm not getting any uh, any feedback on what I'm actually saying. You know, I just have the little earbuds in, which I never, ever, ever use. And aesthetically, when I'm... Uh... <laughs> you can hear me? Okay, good. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to put you... I'm going to go like this so I can lean on something. Okay, you can hear me. Best mascot? I think I may... Uh... You can hear me just fine? Good. That's These things are really impressive. I don't know how people do like the ear, the air pods or whatever. I feel like that's uh, way too far away from my face for people to hear, but apparently they can. But I like the uh, the old fashioned thing. Uh, best mascots? I don't know. I actually am thinking about. Um, I spent a lot of this month thinking about what kind of videos I want to do this year, um, especially in the off season. I realized I never had really done an off season on this channel before. So what kind of videos do I want to make? And I, I think I want to, uh, to rank all the mascots. That's a video I think I want to do. Bucky Badger is best. What are you drinking? Uh, Coke. Like regular soda, not, not anything fun. Nothing fun. It's not that kind of a restaurant. The Wake Forest Demon Deacon. Yeah, he's terrifying. I think mascots with giant heads are terrifying, like uh, Oklahoma State's mascot. I think he's terrifying. 
Thoughts on Baylor season? Um, Baylor, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I like Matt Rule. I think he's going to do very well. Um, but as far as what their season is going to be like next year, I don't know. I didn't exactly expect it to be like this this year. But as strange as it, as it is to say, considering what their record was, I feel like they got much better from game one to game 12. So they have a lot to go into the actual offseason, but I haven't really looked up and studied it enough to know. Are you excited for March Madness? Yeah, relatively. I don't, I don't get totally into it. That's a lie. I actually do get into it pretty. Yeah, I'm excited for it. Um, I, uh, I really like March Madness, uh, but I can't really start feeling it until, uh, until the Super Bowl is over. Like, next Monday or Tuesday is when I'll start to be like, oh, March Madness. Let me center up here. Oh, okay, I can scroll on the right side and look at your comments. Nice. Is Tom Herman for real? Yeah. Is, is, you're not going to believe this. I was actually thinking about that uh, on the drive to this restaurant. Because I know that there's a lot of Texas fans out there, and I figured I would get a question like this, believe it or not. And I remember, uh, like... It's probably going to be, if I was a Texas fan, I would shoot for an 8-4 and four season without looking at their schedule or anything like that. Um, I, I really, I don't believe in really casting judgment on coaches until year three. I think year three is the, the big year. Are, are you annoyed by UCF clowning of themselves as national champions? Um, annoyed's not the right, I don't really care. Um, as uh, Damian Harris said, they came out during the Pro Bowl or right before the Pro Bowl yesterday, and Damian Harris tweeted and was like, hey, I see this is live. That's awesome, man. Do you guys have any pictures next to the trophy? And that's kind of how I feel. I mean, we all know they're not really the national champions, but it, they are the only undefeated team in the FBS. If they want to say that they were the best team because nobody else beat them. That's perfectly fine. I, I don't have a problem with it. One poll or one group did pick them to be national champs, so... They technically have some kind of a claim to it. So, no, I'm not really, I'm not bothered by it. It doesn't bother me. What's my second favorite team in South Carolina after Clemson? That's an oddly specific question, Charlie. Uh, probably Furman, but I grew up, I used to like walk to their campus. That's how close it was when I grew up. Um, I'm from Berea, and that's where Furman is. So, probably Furman. Hey, Gennaro Aguiar. I didn't say that right, but hello. Michigan is up by seven. Nice. Who's Michigan playing? I don't see anybody talking. I know Michigan. I feel like they, they played Purdue because they were both. It was the first time they both played each other ranked since like 1997. Maybe they're playing Michigan State. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't really keep up with basketball that much. Hey, Dustin, where are you? I'm at my friend's restaurant in Pickens, which is home of Clemson. That's where Clemson is. Oh, they're playing Northwestern? Okay. Nice. Is there a best style of offense, spread, pro style, etc., or is it entirely dependent on personnel? It is entirely dependent on personnel. Not only your personnel, but who you're playing. I mean, I would say Alabama's style of offense is pretty boring by like current college football standards, but they keep winning championships, so they're doing something right. Georgia emulated them almost to perfection and got into the national championship game in Kirby Smart's second year. So as fun and flashy as teams like Baylor and Oregon and Texas A&M and Houston have been over the years, they haven't yielded a championship out of it. So I think at the end of the day, it's the same old thing. Defense wins, and if you can ground people out on offense, that's my favorite kind of offense but I don't think there's necessarily a thing as a best type of offense. Not a long stream tonight? Nope, not a long stream. I just wanted to, uh, to talk to you guys for a little bit. I haven't seen you in a few, few days because of my lighting situation, uh, and it's been raining. I really was going to um, just put my chair in my backyard and film in nature, but uh, it's been raining for like three days straight, so I haven't been able to do that either. Uh, so no long live stream tonight. Just wanted to check in and let you know videos are coming. Hopefully tomorrow... Um, I got the lighting situation, I think, figured out, but I haven't shot anything to actually try it out yet. But pop sockets are really nice. I wish I had one. What type of restaurant is it? Pizza place, burger place? Um, 
just like a like a chicken, like a local chicken place. Nothing. Uh, they don't do like fried chicken. They do kind of everything. American food, I guess. I don't know. They think about those kind of restaurants that like people in Dawson's Creek would eat at after like a high school game or something. It's like that. I don't know what I'm saying. My favorite food is pizza. Drew Kegel. How do you think Jimbo Fisher will do in his first year at A&M? Um, I think he's going to do a little less than the people there think he is. When you sign a $100 million contract, they expect instant success. But LSU's still tough. Auburn's going to be tough with Jared Stidham back. Alabama, of course, is in the division. Clemson pays them a visit in the second week of the year, and Jimbo knows how tough that can be. Um, you're going to have an emerging Arkansas team. I think Texas A&M plays South Carolina from the east every year. I think that's their partner now. Um, it used to be used to be Missouri, but that's Arkansas. So I think it's South Carolina. So they're going to have a tough road over the next year or two until he can get his personnel in there. It'll be interesting to see what his personnel looks like, how much of Florida State it looks like, what kind of quarterbacks he tries to get, um, and what he can do um, with the talent that he has there. That's going to be the big question. I can't stand when people call them Clemson. Well, that, that's how you say it. If anybody calls it Clemson, like with a Z, it sounds like a Z instead of a P, um, they're saying it wrong. If you're from here, you call it Clemson. It's just the way that uh, way people call it. I hope I'm looking at the camera. I'm trying to, I don't know where the camera is in my phone, somewhere in there. I'm looking in the direction. I've never done this before, this is neat. Alabama will rule the SEC, no doubt. Uh, I have seen nothing to tell me that is not the case, and it will not continue. Are you going to have any gaming content? No, I'm not. Um, I did start a gaming channel, and then um, I just... My, uh, my relationship with gaming, really, for years... I, my first NCAA game was 2003, the one with Joey Harrington on the cover. And I bought every single one, every single year after that, all the way up until NCAA 14. I played the daylight. I played hundreds of thousands of hours on that, I, th I guess. Like tens of thousands, at least. I played it all the time. I would play it when I was watching movies. I would play it, um, like if I had to go out somewhere with friends, I would just play that game and pause it and come back home and finish playing it. Um, there were days where I would spend like four or five hours a day just playing it at one point. Uh, in college, in between classes, I would play it. And then um, I realized it was taking up way too much of my time, as you may have noticed from all the things I just said, and I wasn't being very productive. So I sold it, and then I got like a, like a hankering for it, like Jones to play it for a uh, couple of months. So then I got it again, and then after playing it again, I realized like the love was gone. I, did, I just would rather create these kind of videos or do research um, than play the game. So I planned on making a gaming channel. I made a gaming channel. And then I posted like one or two videos on it, and then it, it kind of faded away. Do you think Clemson will win a national championship in the future? Um, I don't think Clemson's going anywhere. I, I really don't. I don't think um, they are. They're going to be the, the class of the ACC for the next couple of years. Trying not to, like, my comments are covering the door, but you can't see my comments, so you see the door. Favorite FCS team? Um, probably Furman. Just because, again, they're like, I mean, they are my hometown team. And then Wofford is really close, too. I've been to games at both campuses. I've been to both campuses for different events not related to sports at all. Thoughts on Miami? Uh, I think Miami's going to be perfectly fine uh they're suffering some big losses this year going to the draft uh, but if there's one thing about mark rick that we know is that he is going to rebound he is going to recover um can they duplicate the success of this year i'm not entirely certain i i need to look it over but i feel like their schedule is more difficult this year but i have to double check i feel like all their big games were at home this year is saquon going Oh, I just saw you broke 500,000 views. Congrats. Thanks. I didn't even know that. It's really cool. Thank you. Um, is Saquon going to the Browns? If that happens, I hope it doesn't. Will he be a bust? 
That's a difficult question. I don't think he'll go first overall, but I think the Browns have two top 10 picks, if I'm not mistaken. He may be that second pick. I don't know. I think they should probably go defense with the first pick, but you know how the Browns are. Um, will he be a bust? That's also really hard to say. I don't think if he went to most teams, I don't think he would be, but anybody I think could probably be a bust if they went to the Browns. What's up, Landon Taphorn? That's a funny name. What's up, Landon? Not football related, but what's your favorite genre of music? Um, it's hard to, uh, I don't really know. It's kind of like a scatter shot, but it's rock. So it's like alternative or emo or pop punk or punk, whatever that is. I typically just say alternative to that question, but it's kind of a different thing. Number one and number four picks for the Browns. Okay, yeah. So maybe he'll go number four. Um, I don't know if they would they would take him number one. Whoa, that was really weird. I feel like Baker Mayfield may be a bust. We'll see. Um, so the last time I saw draft grades for him was in the up like top 15 of the draft, which I'm a little surprised by. I shouldn't be. He has all the talent. I'm just surprised by his size and sometimes what goes on in his head off the field. Uh, he may be a little bit of a risk to go that high. I mean can't help but make the comparisons to Johnny Menzel, even though Baker Mayfield's a little bit older, so hopefully has his head on a little bit better. Um, but I, I, I kind of have him in the second round, but we'll see. But as, will he be a bust? I don't think so, but I, I don't know if he'll walk right on the field and start his first year. Michigan's up by 10. Nice. You should expand your genre on YouTube. Um, college football's pretty big. I mean, there's, there's a lot involved with college football. I need to do more on, like, FCS teams and stuff, if that's what you mean. But I'm not going to start making cooking videos, if that's what you mean. Do I think Tua will win the Heisman next year? Probably not. Alabama just doesn't run the, um, the kind of offense that I think quarterback will probably win the Heisman, but I mean, I could be wrong. I actually had a weird dream the other night that, that Tua um, was not the starting quarterback, that Jalen Hurts was the starter. Can you do college basketball? Um, no, I can't. I'll do a, I might, I'm thinking about doing like a March Madness video, but doing it as if they were all football teams in a top 64, something like that. Tua was recognized at the UA men's tennis match yesterday. Yeah, I saw he did the first serve or whatever. I saw that. Dreaming of Jalen. Always. Now that he has no dreads. Do I have a nickname? No. Not that I know of. Just like Dusty or something. I don't really count that. It's like when people people call like RG3. To me, that's not a nickname. That's just it's just the initials of his name and then a number at the end. All right, we'll be going 18 minutes. I think, I think that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it so I can hang out out here and not be rude and hang out in this office for a little while. Um, thank you guys so much for showing up. I'm sorry this couldn't be longer. Hopefully videos will come tomorrow. If latest, they'll come on Wednesday. My arms are getting pretty tired, and I'm not used to this, like, weird thing of holding the, the camera. So it's, I feel like it's really shaky, So and there's nowhere to put it. So. Uh, but thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully I'll be seeing you this week on f videos. Thank you guys. Bye. But he is a Vikings fan. Uh, and he actually was at the NFC Championship. He got me this Fly Eagles Fly towel, which is pretty cool. And a little cup from, uh, from the link. So that was really neat. Um, as far as the actual Super Bowl... Um, I have to say the Patriots are going to win because I can't imagine picking Nick Foles over Tom Brady. But I think of all the teams in the last few years that are built to win, I think first off the Patriots are a little less um, unbeatable than they have been in previous years. And I think the Eagles' defense is the best defense the Patriots have faced in the last few Super Bowls they've probably been in. So the uh, one of the better Clemson moments. I'm wearing a Clemson hoodie right now. Hey, Cade. This is so different. Like, I see the comments, and then they just fade away. Um, how's everybody doing? I don't have any uh, any college football news. I need a pop socket or something. 
I don't have any college football news for this uh, weekend because I was I was doing other stuff with lighting and writing videos and stuff. Um, so instead, it's uh, it's just a quick little live stream to kind of test this out. Probably five or ten minutes because I don't have anything to hold it. I'm just holding it up on my on my arm and it hurts. Talk about the XFL. I'm thinking about making a video about that, uh, J-Rock. I think the Eagles certainly have a chance to do it. Let me go back. Oh, that was my hands. What's the best stadium in college football? Um, whoa. I don't know. I don't know if I'm qualified to say that just yet because I haven't been to enough, especially of the big ones. Um, I can tell you the best stadium that I've been to, which the best atmosphere was Florida. The prettiest overall stadium was probably actually, I really thought North Carolina Stadium was really, really pretty, actually. Hey, LSU fan 101. Can everybody hear me okay? I'm not getting any uh, any feedback on what I'm actually saying. I just have the little earbuds in, which I never, ever, ever use. And aesthetically, when I'm uh, the XFL is a is a bad idea. I don't think it's, it's a thing that people should do. Vince McMahon, I think he's going to lose a lot of money. I think it failed the first time. I think he's going to try to take a, an anti-NFL stance, which may work, but um, we'll see. I think it's interesting. He doesn't want any players with any kind of criminal records to be involved in it. I think it kind of eliminates a lot of really good players like Johnny Menzel, but hey, what are you going to do? Uh, so your comments disappear. Oh, no. Okay. If I scroll, they come back. Uh, talk about the Super Bowl Eagles or Patriots. Um, so the friend, I don't know if I, he wants me to say his name or what his restaurant is, so I'm not going to. Hey, lifers, Dustin here, and uh, I am at my friend's restaurant, uh, and I am trying out mobile live streaming. Uh, I haven't been able to make a video for the last few days because my big light in my apartment is down. It broke, and I have to order a new one, so I've had to like buy lamps to try to supplant it. Uh, so... Instead, I'm trying to see what going live on mobile is like. I haven't ever done that before. Hello, Jab Gaming, Drew Cagle, Bo, what's up, everybody? Uh, I want to go live on Mondays, but I wasn't able to do so because of said lighting. So uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. Hopefully everything looks good. 70 to 33. Yep, that was not 